guys, look what we got today. We have 22 shorts. And we've got like four different guns to test them out with today. And we're gonna compare them to regular 22 long rifle rounds. That one is, you can barely even see it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they are so cute and tiny. Like a regular um, 22 long rifle is twice the size. Okay, let's see how they work in my Henry Lever action. We know this gun holds 13 22 long rifles. So let's see how many shorts it holds. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen is the limit. Eighteen, okay. Okay, it holds, so it holds thirteen twenty-two long rifles, so. Five more. Yeah. Okay, let's see how these shorts run through my Henry Lever action. Okay, those run pretty good through the lever action. Let's try a different gun. Now I have the Marlin Model 60. We know this uh, holds 15 regular 22 long rifles, but I bet it'll hold a couple more shorts, but I'm only gonna put seven in. I'm gonna have to manually cycle the bolt for every shot. Okay, so now let's see how they shoot. So we thought because this rifle was a two-fed magazine, they would cycle manually. But I don't think so, because we just got a little jam. Pull that open. Yep. See. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, there's no way these rounds are gonna feed from this tube mag. Nope. So we're just not even gonna shoot that gun. <laughs> so this is my Henry Mini Bolt. It's probably the lightest rifle I have, and it is single shot. So it'll definitely work with these shorts. Do you mind? I just got a lot of blowback. Yeah? Yeah. It's weird. So these 22 shorts are super quiet. So I want to see what they sound like with a rifle with a suppressor on it. So I've got a Ruger American Rimfire. It's got a can on it. Let's see how those shorts sound through that.
It was sighted and it was zoomed in all the way to seven. That is so quiet. I gotta try another one. It's so hard to load these though. Those are definitely the quietest rounds I've ever fired. So now we're gonna do a penetration test. We have the 22 shorts, which are 29 grain bullets and 710 feet per second. And we're comparing them to the Gila Super Extra 22 long rifles. 40, 40 grain, 1,255 feet per second. And we've got a bundle of cardboard right here down range and we'll we're gonna see how many of the 22 shorts and the 22 long rifles go through good and i've got my knife to cut the tape <laughs> we've got my henry mini bolt loaded with a 22 short okay good okay all right now we've got a 22 long rifle. That one had a lot more kick. Like it, it actually lifted it up. The 22 short, I was still aiming at the same time it, as it fired. So let's go down range and cut this apart and see how many layers we went through. So let's check the back first to see if they went through when they both went through. They both went through. All right, we'll have to stack up some more cardboard. Okay, so we just tripled the amount of cardboard, and here goes a short. Let's see if we stop it. <laughs> it's even cuter with the case alone. Okay, here goes the long rifle. Okay. Chamber's empty. Of course the chamber's empty. Okay, check in. Um, looks like the long rifle went through, but it looks like the short stopped. The short almost came through. Look. Whoa, yeah, you can see the bump right here. Okay, let's see. Cut it apart? Yeah, let's cut it apart and see if we can find that short. Definitely. Because I don't have a short bullet yet. What if it does the centigrade? It, it's gone. So, it must have bounced out from in between the layers. Must have. And went in the weeds of the creek or something, but... Uh, I don't know how many layers that was. Let's count. Okay, so. so we just finished counting, and the 22 short went through 61 layers of cardboard. And that's pretty impressive for how weak this round is. So if you quietly need to take care of a pest, these might be a good option for you. Thanks for watching Arms Armory, and we'll see you next time. I'm no gun. <laughs>